Learning English pronunciation can be challenging. One very important aspect of pronunciation that you must focus on is word stress. Why? Because stress can change the meaning of a word and incorrect stress can make your speech difficult to understand. Like if I said elephant instead of elephant. Most people wouldn't have a clue what I said. So come with me and I'll give you all the information you need. Word stress refers to the emphasis or strength given to a syllable or syllables in a word. So first of all, do you know what a syllable is? Well, a syllable is a unit of sound in a word that usually contains a vowel sound. For example, the word cat has one syllable and one vowel sound. While the word picture has two syllables and two vowel sounds. Picture. We say picture and not picture. So whilst every syllable contains a vowel sound, we do not stress every syllable. And we do not stress consonants, unless they sound like a vowel. Like the letter Y, when it sounds like E or I, as in the word physical. So how do we know when and how to stress each syllable in a word? Well, there are three ways to stress English syllables. Number one, primary stress, the loudest syllable in a word. Number two, secondary stress, syllables which aren't completely unstressed, but aren't as loud as the primary stress or aren't as strong as the primary stress. Number three, weak or unstressed. Primary stress is the emphasis placed on certain syllables in a word that makes them more prominent than the other syllables. It is indicated by an apostrophe in phonemic script. For example, in the word banana, that has three syllables. The second syllable, na, is pronounced with stronger stress. And the first and third syllables, which are weak, making it sound like banana. You try it. Banana. Secondary stress occurs in longer words and is indicated by a comma. For example, the word organization has five syllables. Or, gun, I, zation. The first syllable is given secondary stress, the second and third are weak, the fourth syllable is given primary stress and the fifth is weak, making it sound like this. Organisation. Now you try. Organisation. Weak stress is where there is no stress at all on the syllable. The vowel will often take the sound of the schwa instead of the full vowel sound. So how do you know how each syllable is stressed? Well, luckily there are some rules. As always in English, there are plenty of exceptions, but these rules will help you pronounce most words correctly. So, rule number one. Two syllable nouns have the main stress on the first syllable. Picture, mirror, bottle, cupboard. We don't stress both vowel sounds like this. Picture. We make the first syllable strong and the second weak like this. Picture, mirror. Rule number two. Two syllable adjectives. These also have the main stress on the first syllable. Listen. Pretty. Perfect. Common. 
helpful. Can you hear how the main stress on the first syllable is stronger? Rule number three, two syllable verbs. These tend to have the stress on the second syllable. For example, provide, believe, decide, begin. There are lots of two syllable verbs in English and very often the change of stress can change the word class. The following words are all examples of this. The noun export becomes the verb to export. The noun import becomes the verb to import. Contract becomes the verb to contract. Object becomes to object. Did you notice the last two words also changed meaning? Stress can change the class and sometimes the meaning of a word too. For example, as you've already seen, the noun object can be pronounced with stress on the first syllable, meaning a thing. But if you place the stress on the second syllable, it not only becomes a verb, but the meaning changes to express disapproval. So these words can be nouns or verbs, depending on whether the stress is on the first or second syllable. And now you can see why it's so important to get the stress right. Rule four, words ending in ik or ic. These words have the main stress on the syllable before the ic ending, or in other words, the penultimate syllable. Look at these examples. Music, heroic, Graphic, geographic, magnetic, electric. And here's a word ending in IC with secondary stress. Electronic. Rule five, words ending in S-I-O-N and T-I-O-N. The stress here is again on the syllable just before these endings, or in other words, the penultimate syllable. For example, invasion, pollution, education, conversation. Rule six, words ending in CY, TY, PHY and GY. The stress is on the antipenultimate syllable, or in other words, the stress is before the penultimate syllable. For example, democracy, visibility, photography, psychology. Rule number seven. Words ending in AL. In these words, the stress is on the antipenultimate syllable. Again, for example, physical, critical, magical, hysterical. Rule number eight. For compound nouns, the stress is on the first part, for example, Blackbird, bookcase, greenhouse. Rule number nine. For compound adjectives, the main stress is on the second part. Remember, compound adjectives act as an adjective to describe nouns. Old fashioned, well known. Remember, there are many exceptions in English, so it's a good idea when you learn a word to learn its word family too. Build word families with example sentences showing the stress and meanings of the words. For example, take the word educate. The verb educate. The noun education. Adjective educational. 
prefixes, uneducated, well-educated, poorly educated, highly educated. The Oxford graduate was well-educated. Did you notice the difference in stress in the word family? If you want more on this, go here. Or if you would like to learn more about sentence stress, go here. Until next time, love and peace.